So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create this awesome shooting system with the screen shake and the bullet trails to make your game look awesome, of course. So yeah, let's jump right into it. So here's John and he can move around the scene and jump. But our Johnny boy wants a gun. So let's give him a gun, shall we? Alright, so let's select the player. And here we need to make another empty game object inside of the player. So let's create an empty game object and we'll call this gun holder because of course it will hold the gun. And now we need to put a gun into the gun holder. So let's go to sprites and we will drag and drop this gun here. Let's place this inside a gun holder. And I'll reset the transform on the gun. Alright, and we need to place it at the correct position. So let's drag this. I'll place it around here. Yeah, looks good. Now let's scale down the gun a bit. 0 0.7, 0 0.7. And let's drag this up a bit. And here it looks just fine. And of course, let's try to rotate this. So let's see how it looks. And it looks just fine. Alright, so now we need to make another empty game object inside the gun. Fred empty and we'll call this shoot point. And we'll place it at the tip of the gun. So where we want the bullet to shoot from. Around here, I guess. Alright, and now it's time to make our Johnny boy shoot the gun. So let's make a shoot script now. Create an add. And now we need to open this up inside of Visual Studio. Alright, so here we need to make a reference for our gun. So public transform, let's call this gun. And a vector 2 for the direction where we want to aim. So vector 2, direction. And inside of the update method, we will get the mouse position here. So let's store this in a vector 2, call this mouse pause. And we will set this equal to camera.man.screen to valve point. So we will need to convert it into the world point and put dot mouse position here. And now we can use this to um, calculate the direction. So direction will be equal to the mouse position minus the gun position. So and also we need to cast this as a vector 2. So let's put a vector 2 here. Alright and now we need to make another method here so let's call this fast mouse and we will need to call this inside the update method and in the fast mouse method we will set the transform the right of the, our gun to always face the direction where we want to aim and of course the parenthesis here so let's put in the direction and let's save this and head back inside of unity to test this out First we need to give in our gun here. So let's drag and drop the gun or we can just drag and drag this gun holder instead. So now let's hit play. Cool so now we can aim at our mouse. And now it's time to make the bullet to shoot. So let's go back. But before that let's change the order in layer to shoot so it Alright, so now it's time to make the bullet and for that we'll use the circle sprite. Let's name this bullet. And also let's make it a bit smaller. 0.2. Alright, uh, so yeah. This looks good. Now let's add a circle collider to this. And a rigid body. Enable this freeze rotation. And also set the gravity scale to 0. Alright. Alright now let's just change the color and let's change the color to something like this. Alright and now let's make a prefab out of the bullet and let's delete this from the scene and now we need to go back to our shooter script and here we need to make a reference for our bullet. So let's make a public game object we'll call this bullet and also we need to make a public float for the bullet speed. So the speed that we want the, to launch the bullet with. Alright. So here inside of the update method we will check if we have pressed any key. So let's. 
so we'll check if we have pressed the uh, right mouse button or the left mouse button is it or left mouse button i think and we will call a shoot method here and we haven't made one so let's create a shoot method here shoot all right and now inside of this shoot method we'll need to instantiate the bullet so instantiate bullet so and now we also need to make a reference for the shoot point so let's make a public transform call this shoot point and we will instantiate the bullet at the shoot point dot position and also shoot point dot rotation and we also need to store this as a separate game object so we'll call this bullet ins for instance and we will get the rigid body 2d component of this bullet instance and then we will add some force to it so add force and here we need to give it a direction so bullet ins dot transform dot right so the right transform of the bullet and we will apply some force so let's type in bullet speed all right so let's save this and head back inside of unity and now here we need to give in our bullet so let's drag and drop this bullet here and for the speed i'll type in 1200 also let's give it the shoot point all right and now we can test this out and if i press the left mouse button and we can shoot as many bullets as we want so it would be better if we had a fire rate but first let's make the bullet a bit smaller so 0.15 and now it's time to make the fire rate and for that we need to go to the shooter script here we will make a public float for the fire rate and here a public floor for the time between each shot or the next shot so we'll call this ready for next shot and inside of this we'll use the get mouse button and here we will check if time dot time is greater than the ready for next shot so if we are ready for the next shot we'll just set this ready for next shot is equal to the time dot time plus one so every each second and we will divide this with the fire rate so if you don't understand this just copy and paste this here so each time we are ready to fire we will call the shoot method all right so now we can just save this and head back inside of unity and we need to set the fire rate here so i'll set it to around four and now let's hit play and if i try to shoot and if i hold it it will fire four bullets each second so let's try this again so yeah and now we can also increase the fire rate here let's try 12 and boom so yeah and now let's try two so it will just fire two bullets each second so we can just play around with the fire rate here and our hierarchy gets cluttered up with the bullets so we need to destroy the bullets when we fire them so here we will just destroy the bullet bullet instance and we will give it some time so i want to destroy the bullets after three seconds all right let's save this and i think it's time to add some recoil so for that let's select the gun holder and go to our animation tab let's hit create and we will call this idle animation and nothing to change on this one so let's just create another one create a new clip call this recoil all right on this one we will need to change a few things so let's hit the record button so let's place this somewhere around 20 frames and now let's find our gun and we need to change the position of our gun so let's drag this so let's drag this back somewhere around here and at the end of the animation we'll just drag this back to zero all right and if we try to hit play yeah it is kind of slow but we can always speed things up afterwards so let's just hit let's go to the animator window let's click the gun holder 
and we have all this animations here so we will need to set up a few things so we need to go from any state so any state that we are in to the recoil state so let's make a transition and from recoil back to idle here so to go from any state to recoil we'll need to add a parameter here so let's create one and it will be of type trigger call this shoot and here we need to make sure that the has exit time is turned off and it is and then we need to create a condition here so let's hit plus and it will automatically add the shoot condition and also we will need to make the transition duration to 0.1 and for the recoil to idle we'll make sure that the has exit time is enabled we just need to set the transition duration to 0.1 here all right now save this and open up the shoot script and here we need to make a reference for our gun animator so let's make a public animator and we'll call this gun animator alright and let's go down where we shoot and inside of this shoot method we will type in gun animator dot set trigger and we will set the trigger so the name of the trigger will be shoot so that's all we need to do here so let's just save this and head back inside of unity alright so let's select the player let's drag and drop the gun holder and also let's disable the loop time on both these animations and I think we are ready to play now so let's go ahead and test this out and if I try to shoot and indeed it works but it is kind of a bit slow so because I forgot to change the animation speed so let's do that right now go to the animator tab and click the recoil state and we'll set this speed to I'll set this to 4 or maybe 6 and now it looks much more better alright so now it's time to add some bullet trails to our bullet so alright so let's close this select the bullet and I'll just quickly set up this trail renderer. So first thing we need to do is to set the time to 0.2 and also the width to 0.2 and the material to particle default, the curve to something like this and the color to whatever you want. So I'll just go with this one and we are ready to roll. Let's try this out and it already looks much more better and the only thing left here is to add some screen shake to our game i'll be using this assets from the assets store called easy camera shake and of course i'll put a link in the description so for that let's make a empty game object inside the camera we'll call this game holder and we will place the camera inside of this game holder game object and inside of the camera we need to add a script called camera shaker and we don't need to change anything here so let's go to our shoot script and here we need to include the easy camera shake so and now down here when we are shooting we will call the camera shaker instance dot shake once and here we have a bunch of parameters to set so you can just make a public reference for each of them and change this in the runtime. So I'll just hard code here for this. So 0 0.12, 0 0.08, 0 0.1 and 0.15 for the fade out time. Alright, so let's save this and head back inside of Unity to test things out. And if we hit play. Awesome. And of course you can play around with the settings to get the desired effect. So yeah that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and if you have any questions leave them down in the comment section. And also you can now support me on Patreon. I'll put a link to it in the description. 
and until next time see ya